Donald Trump Jr. appears to be very concerned about furries. I was uh, I was up up north uh, yesterday doing some events, and you know, a kid, a couple of kids showed up to the rallies. I was in Maine, and then I was in uh, Pennsylvania, and kids are coming up, and they're telling me these stories about what's going on in their classrooms. So then I bring it back, and I ask my own kids about it, and like it is going on. You know, the whole like this kid came up to me and told me that in his classroom up uh, up in New England, they had litter boxes in the classrooms because. A couple of kids, I guess they identified as furries. I guess they think they're cats. And we're supposed to believe that this is totally normal and just, you know, that they have litter boxes in classrooms. Not because there's actual cats in the room, but because there's kids going around licking themselves as though they're cats. And, you know, this is normal. So if, if a kid says something, like, maybe that's a little bit odd. The kid that says that, he's the one that gets in trouble. Not like, We're encouraging mental illness at this point. Uh, rather than dealing with it, ask him. About okay. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you, you know, uh, there's a couple of kids that just showed up at a rally. Yeah, they told us about the litter boxes. Oh really? Oh, are, are you sure about that? Really? You sure? Is uh, I call bullshit. Bullshit. All right. Number one. Uh, first of all, okay, I, I don't think uh, a lot of a lot of kids are going to Trump rallies, but but okay. Sure, sure. Uh, I'm sure some get dragged along by their parents, and I'm sure uh, eventually they will uh, emancipate themselves from their parents uh, for it. But okay, okay, sure. Uh, and look, if somehow kids did come up to Don Jr., which again, very, very unlikely, and managed to even talk to him, the chances are real good that those kids are probably trolling you. <laughs> you know why? It was, it's because this is not happening in schools. OK, there is approximately zero evidence of children getting, uh, you know, uh, litter boxes put into their classrooms because they identify as furries. In fact, look, the reality here is actually a lot more sad. There are some schools that have taken buckets, put them and filled them with kitty litter. Now, what, what what's that all about? Well, it turns out those are for when the school has to go on lockdown for mass shooters. So, and by the way, it, it can be used for uh, bodily functions or blood to soak it up and to clean up after a mass shooting event. So that's, uh, and that's incredibly devastating to learn that, oh, so that is the case where you have a bucket not a litter box, but a bucket with some cat litter in it, okay? And, and of course, there's other bodily fluids that get cleaned up with that. For example, uh, you know, a kid grows up at lunch, okay? Um, but they're not using it to go to the bathroom in under normal circumstances. Again, only in a lock, uh, school lockdown where there's an active shooter. But look, Understand that this is, I can't believe I have to sit here and address this. This is nonsense. But this rumor, this, this ridiculousness will not die. It is the rumor that won't die. And by the way, uh, Don Jr. is right about one thing. Yes, we have certainly encouraged mental illness in this country by allowing people who act completely insane to say insane things. And yet we have to, you know, talk about it seriously. We've got to take it seriously for some reason. No, this is insane. This is insanity. It's, it's stupid. And by the way, again, people, people are taking this seriously. Here's an example. In Nebraska, a state senator, Bruce Bostelman, had repeated this false claim during a public televised debate on a bill intended to help school children with behavioral problems. Here's what he said. It's called something called furries. If you don't know what furries are, it's where school children dress up as animals, cats or dogs, during the school day. They meow and they bark, and they interact with their school, with the teachers and that in this fashion. And now schools are wanting to put litter boxes in the schools for these children to use. I even heard from one person here recently said that a, that, a, that a student 
identified as a cat and wanted a litter box. And the school didn't provide the litter box, so the student went ahead and defecated on the floor. Really? Really? If some kids can't wear American flag to walk through the school on their shirt, and you keep them out of school, and you kick them out of school, but it's okay if, if they wear a cat costume, and that's fine, and you have a litter box for them, and that's fine? Really? Really? No, not really. Literally made up. Look, just hours after his remarks, to be fair, to give him credit, okay, uh, Bostelman was like, oh, yeah, no, it turns out I was wrong. He backtracked and acknowledged the story was not true. He said he checked into the claims with State Senator Lynn Walls, a Democrat who leads the legislature's education committee, and confirmed that there were no such incidents. Here's his quote on that. It was just something I felt that if this is really happening, we needed to address it and address it quickly. But why would you think that it was happening? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, another Republican official, by the way, in a different state, um, Councilwoman Mary Brimer said that she had heard the same thing from parents and allegedly from children. Now, again, this is a lot of hearsay, right? Brimer had cited parents of multiple schools in the district as sources for these allegations. Well, they tell me that one has been hissing at other students and they say there's a litter box. I said, I need a picture. Yeah, by all means, give us a picture. No, there was no picture because it didn't happen. And look, they had to come out and say, uh, and this is uh, interim superintendent Michael Waterman explained in a statement to, to uh, ABC6 News that the rumors would were, quote, unequivocally false. Honestly, it's shameful that someone would start a rumor to disparage the students and, have, and staff at the North Kingston School Department. Jennifer Lima, the uh, school committee member uh, of North Kingston, uh, said, quote, the NKSD is not providing litter boxes in the bathrooms. As to the reports that there are students in the district who identify as cats, I cannot and will not comment on that. We have almost 4,000 students in our district. How they choose to identify is a personal decision and is not for me or anyone else to disclose. Well, there you go. Oh, and the last part of that statement, whether they identify as a he, a she, a they, or anything else, all students are part of the NK community and deserve to be treated with respect. That's actually based. Uh, I actually do, do love that because it's like, who cares how they identify? They all deserve respect. All right. I love it. But look, honestly, to get back to what this actually is really about, it, it's, there's no it, it, litter boxes in the bathrooms or in the classrooms. Uh, you know, no kids that are uh, on a consistent basis drep, dressing up as cats. Okay, that's not happening. Unless it's Halloween. Then, of course, it happens, and it's good. <laughs> it, it's totally fine, right? Um, but no, this is, what this is about is attacking public education. Okay. They're making up these insane conspiracy theories and talking about things that has just never happened. And it's amazing how so many people, older people who should know better, are falling for this stuff. They say, oh yeah, no, I heard, I heard it was true from this person and this person and this person. Uh, they said it was true. So obviously, I 100% believe them, even though I haven't seen any evidence at all. And now, of course, the newest person to, to get on this and, 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 and show how much more mainstream this nonsense conspiracy, this allegation has become, now you have Don Jr. repeating it. So here we go again. This is the uh, one conspiracy. Well, I guess added to the list of conspiracies in the right wing that just will not die. So expect to hear more of this ridiculousness going forward.